Have you ever considered that moment when the crown of thorns was removed from our Lord's sacred head following his death on the cross? Just imagine what that moment was like. Such meditations are immeasurably valuable to our souls because they draw us into closer union with Jesus. Truly, we are loved and valued by God beyond measure. Our Blessed Mother urged us to never forget the mysteries of the Incarnation, Passion, and Death of her Divine Son. She also urged us to give thanks in compensation for the great number of people who do not. Meditating on the life, passion, and death of Jesus is also very beneficial to us as we resist and fight the forces of evil. Blessed Mother revealed in City of God the divine history and life of the Virgin Mother of God as manifested to Venerable Mary of Agreda for the encouragement of men. I assure thee that the mere memory and contemplation of these mysteries are terrible to hell, torment and drive away the demons, and that they avoid and fly those who thankfully remember the life and passion of my Divine Son. When you pray to prepare your heart before Holy Mass, share precious moments of divine intimacy with Jesus by reflecting on the individual moments of his passion. Unite your own suffering with our Lord's suffering during the scourging at the pillar, along the way of the cross, or when he was nailed to the cross. Meditate on his wounds. Unite your heart to the sacred heart of Jesus, torn open by the lance. Ask the Lord to direct your thoughts to those moments of his passion, which are of most benefit to your soul, or ask him to teach you something new so that your appreciation and thanksgiving will be more satisfactory. Let us consider now the moment when the crown of thorns was removed from the sacred head of Jesus. At the time when our Savior's body was to be taken down from the cross, Joseph of Arimathea felt that Our Lady's sorrow would be renewed when Jesus' sacred body would be lowered and touched by his mother. So he advised St. John to take her aside and distract her. St. John responded that as she had been there since the beginning of the Lord's torments, she would not leave him whom she venerated as her God and loved as the son of her womb. Despite this, they urged Blessed Mother to retire for a while until Jesus had been lowered from the cross. She replied, My dearest masters, since I was present when my sweetest son was nailed to the cross, fear not to allow me to be present at his taking down. For this act of piety, though it shall affect my heart with new sorrow, will, in its very performance, afford a great relief. What incredible love and humility Blessed Mother expressed to her new sons and daughters. That having been said, they began making arrangements to remove the sacred body of our Savior from the cross. The first thing they did was remove the crown of thorns from the head of Jesus, exposing the lacerations and deep wounds caused by the crown. They handed it down with great reverence and amid abundant tears, placing it in the hands of the sweetest mother. She received it prostrate on her knees, in deepest adoration bathed it with her tears, permitting the sharp thorns to wound her virginal countenance and pressing it to her face. She asked the Eternal Father to inspire due veneration toward the sacred thorns in those Christians who should obtain possession of them in future times. John the pious women, and the other faithful present adored the crown of thorns in imitation of Blessed Mother. In a similar way, they adored the nails, and then the great lady placed herself on her knees and held the unfolded cloth in her outstretched arms, ready to receive the dead body of her son. She looked upon him with supreme worship and reverence, shedding tears of blood. Think about that moment during Holy Communion as our Lord reposes on your tongue. Seated on the ground, Blessed Mother held him in her arms so that the others could also adore their Lord and Savior. Her sorrow exceeded all that could be ever felt by mortals. She enlightened all in the understanding of the sacrament now transpiring under their hands. Remember our Lord's crowning with thorns during the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Venerate our Lord as the King of Kings, and thank Him and our Blessed Mother for their unfathomable love for all mankind, and also for you personally.
be sure to love them in return. Discover or rediscover the one, holy, Catholic, apostolic, and pro-life church and the majestic full expression of Christianity as established by its very founder, Jesus Christ. Don't just be Catholic, be profoundly Catholic. God is so in love with you.